My name is Larry Rodkey. I live in Arroyo Grande. I own the Sunset Drive-In Theater in San Luis Obispo and own the Fair Oaks Theater in Arroyo Grande. Sunset was built in 1950. Mr. Pasquini owned the property. My father, Raymond Rodkey, he went out and met Mr. Pasquini that owns the property at the drive-in and opened it up in May of 1950. three weeks old when I came to San Luis Obispo, so I was basically weaned at the Sunset Drive-In. I didn't want to go to school, I wanted to go to the Sunset Drive-In with my dad. Just wanted to be with him. I wanted to get in the projection room because I wanted to learn that. Couldn't get in there because it was a union projectionist at the time and always, always scooted me out of the projection room. He didn't want me in there. And then finally, after a few years, uh, the original projectionist finally tolerated me and said, come on in and let me do a few things. And he started letting me come in and I was basically running a projector at about eight years old and he was sitting in the chair sleeping. In 1955, they came in with a scope and we had to add about 16 feet on each side, and that's why the outer legs are the add-on part. Over this last summer, we painted the actual screen itself, and while he was there, I said, let's paint the back, because it had never been painted. Well, I think the termites are probably holding it together with the last coat of paint. Well, the Sunset Drive-In originally had speakers and heaters. Each post had two heaters on it. You'd take, uh, put the heater in your car if you were cold. Then we ran the speakers up till through the early 70s, and we immediately put in the FM transmitter. And of course, now the FM was a lot better and clearer, and some of the cars had a little bit better radios in them. And then now, I mean, basically, the speakers are history. catering to the families. I want the families to come out there. I've been trying to keep as much family motion pictures out there that I can. I just like to see uh, you know, husband and wife and the kids out there and, and out in lawn chairs. Drive-ins are a dying breed. And what's really sad is once they're gone, they'll never come back.